What's up? Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I upload, okay? Um, I'm going to bring you guys the weather real quick. Um, it's important. We got weather implications for sure. Um, go to Kevin Roth, uh, his Twitter here, uh, my meteorologist is on a host of uh, others, meteorologists, all right? Uh, my computer is slow loading right now, but we're going to get through this. Um, major key for you to check the weather, okay? Major key for you to check the lineups, okay? All of that is major key, all right? Can't, can't stress this enough, all right? Uh, got to, got to, got to, got to, got to check all of this stuff, all right? So let's see, all right? Let's get right into it. Um, Let's see. Um. Uh, let me, let me let me blow this up a little bit for y'all. Put it on 200, 250. That work. Let's see. No, I'm all in the way. Ah, uh, I guess I'll leave. No, I'll yeah, I I I'll no. Let me let me pull it back. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Uh, San Francisco Giants at uh Pittsburgh. Any shower should be east by game time and clearing further east. Winds out to the left at 10 miles an hour. Hot in Chicago, Atlanta. Hot, humidish winds blowing out at 10 miles an hour. I like it. He likes it. I like it too. Hit, uh, humid weather. Yes, sir. Uh, Miami and Baltimore. I think there's a decent window here. Rain clears in the early afternoon and next batch of storms come in late afternoon. I'll leave it yellow because they may need a late start or may get clipped late game by round two, but I'm opt optimistic in plays. San Diego Padres at Philly. The farther east we go, the longer <clears throat> the longer first batch of rain on the east coast takes to clear. That means a late start in Philly. Looks like it does, however, look pretty decent behind that first round. So I think there may be probably a wait a couple hours to play ball. Uh, Dodgers in the Mets. Again, the farther east we go, the longer the rain lingers. New York. If they are committed to playing, we'll need to wait until late afternoon, maybe 5 Eastern, before they can play. That would be a long wait. Maybe they do it. Maybe they throw in the towel early. We shall see. Tom Bay Rays at Kansas City Worlds. We're kind of in between Storm Sisters and KC. I'm hoping they can play uninterrupted and an occasional sprinkle before storms fire up in the early evening after the game. All right? Uh, there's a window here, and I think there's just big enough but it's worthy of a check-in before first pitch, all right? Weather implications all over the place. Washington, Seattle, broken line of storms could move in d during the game. Chance for a delay. And then Boston is at my Chicago Cubs. Winds out to right, 10 miles an hour. Let's go, all right? Uh, so it's important, really, really important to check out that weather, all right? Weather implications. I'm going to talk about these games as if there wasn't any weather. All right, my picks, my plays, my analysis, all of this is 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 prime for sleeper, prize picks, the books, okay, and daily fantasy because I do all of this, okay. Now, um, let's drive by. All right, um, first game on the docket here is a game that I'm not highly interested in. Um, I was looking at Bido K's. I think they're in play, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to just I'm going to just slide right on over this game here. All right, that's the first game there. Um I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I was looking at Bido case. I was looking at Wood case. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Uh, San Diego Padres at Philadelphia Phillies. We got an over under nine in the spot. Uh, we got Lugo on the mound, Wheeler on the mound. Lugo has been serviceable, I guess. He's been serviceable. Um Wheeler Will has been getting hit lately and, you know, putting up, they've been putting up runs on him, yada, yada, yada. All right. Um, what I will say here is um, the dogs are probably barking here. Um, what I mean by that, the underdogs are probably barking here. Um, Sa San Diego, uh, they have been hitting righties really, really well. Uh, Philadelphia, mm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I I'll, I'll limit some of my expectations here. Might want to do a live bet or something like that, but I ain't going to bet this game. If I'm betting this game, it's going to be San Diego or nothing for me. You know, I try might try to be greedy with some plus money, but that's the way I'm leaning right now. I don't bet a lot of games. You guys already know that, but the bats, let's talk about the bats here. Uh, first bat I like here is going to be uh, Juan Soto, okay? 893 OPS versus righties. Um, he has a hefty history versus him. He's batting 280. He's 11 for 38. Batting 289, eight singles, a double, and two home runs. He's a home run candidate today. On the flip side, shout out to uh, Bryce Harper. He hit a home run for the first time in a long time yesterday. And I mean a long time. 
So either way it goes, he's batting 333 versus Lugo, seven for 21. Uh, and that is four singles, a double, and two home runs. Both of these guys are home run candidates today. I'm going to mention you can look at somebody like Kyle Schwarber because he's been hot, okay? I was looking on prize picks. I, could, I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen, um, I haven't seen seen Soto anywhere, anywhere, um, you know, and, and they, hold, they, hold, they hold good matches back from you, you know what I'm saying? So I haven't seen them nowhere. I haven't seen Harper. Uh, so so called both of these guys are in good spots they're not on the board okay maybe i'll look at uh total bases um maybe i'll look at total bases let's see don't see neither one of these guys in total bases they putting all the other guys up there so let me stop wasting time let me get up there and let me get it keep it moving zach wheeler um i don't know if his case his case his case Hmm. let me see did i put that in my notes his case probably in play i don't know but it is let me see no, I had uh, I had uh, Lugo. I had his his outs in play. All right, so uh, his outs, Seth Lugo outs is sitting at fifteen and a half. Small lean towards the over at plus one ten. A uh, small lean. That means he got to go five innings, get into the sixth inning, and get us one out. Then he cashes that. All right, Chicago White Sox at Atlanta Braves, where it's hot, muggy, and winds going out. Perfect weather for for runs, okay? So we got Cease on the mound. We got Allen on the mound. We got nine and a half over under. I like all that, all right? I don't have to talk too much about the Braves. Let me tell you a few things about this White Sox, okay? So here's a time where I don't target Tim Anderson much, okay? Uh, but on the road, first, I can show you guys some of his splits, all right? And it's, it's important to, uh, you know what? I was probably just on it. So let's, let me see if I can go back. And try to catch it. Either way it goes, uh, if I can get this to load up, because I done went back to Will Benson. All right, so let me just type in this damn name because, you know, that's the best thing to do right now. So, Tim Anderson, like I said, um, he's got these splits this year. All right, you know, the White Sox last year, they were known for hitting lefties, yada, yada, yada. And they got a few bats that can hit lefties and will hit lefties right now, like uh, – Robert Jr., who's my top bat from the White Sox today, hits runs and RBIs all the way up to a home run. He's, you know, he's 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 been that he's been really really hard on lefties this year. He's really really good. Okay, so uh, I'm looking at Tim and I'm I'm looking at him. Next, uh, I like to target uh, Eloy, but I like to target him at home versus lefties. Then um, Berger. Berger is a he's a home run candidate, but I like to talk him at home versus lefties as well. But he's got good power versus lefties, so that's one thing that you could uh, count on or look at for him. Um, but uh, Tim Anderson, he his lefty splits are crazy. He, he it's a small sample size, not that big, but he's hitting lefties. He's hitting lefties better on the road, all right? Probably like a 330. He's probably averaging 330 versus lefties on the road. Not a big power guy, so you don't look at him for home runs. Uh, stolen bases, you can look at him for stolen bases as well. Uh, might be getting hot. He had two hits yesterday. Um, but uh, as of right now, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I'm show you guys some of his splits real quick. Because right now, my computer is acting Super slow, and I've been on it all night, slamming it, you know, capping baseball games and shit like that. So I've been slamming it, you know, slamming it hard. I should have restarted it before I even did my video, but it it is what it is. All right, so uh, versus righties in general, versus lefties in general, he's batting 306 there. Not a big sample size. Away versus righties, um, versus lefties, he's 366. Uh, 43 plate appearances, 15 hits, 12 doubles. I mean, uh, uh, 15, uh, 15 hits, uh, 12 singles, three doubles. Uh, that's how, he, that's how he's looking right there. Stolen bases. Uh, he's got seven stolen. He got nine stolen bases on the year. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yep. And then it's WRC Plus. It's been trash outside of on the road versus lefties. Uh, 135 w, WRC Plus on the road versus lefties. Next thing close for him is uh, away, just 54%, just away. So that's, uh, I mean, 54, that's uh, 50 below average, all right? You know, all his numbers is hitting metrics outside of his ISO is up. You know what I'm saying? 439 slugging, 395 old base percentage, 366 average, all that stuff away versus lefty. So, you know, if these White Sox are going to be putting up some runs here, it's going to be because of him and uh, him and um, him and him and Robert today. All right. And, you know, the deal between me and uh, the Atlanta Braves versus right hand pitching, it's always going to be Acuna, Olsen and Murphy if he's in the lineup. Cease, um, this you know this lineup will strike out. Probably wouldn't look to cease for his outs. It's a possibility he can get to some some strikeouts if he does get to his K prop first before he hits his outs. His outs is probably going to come out at seventeen and a half. Uh, but you know Atlanta's been crushing right hand pitching. Um, so it is what it is, right there. If you're on the side right now, um, I probably like his runs and RBIs for a lot of those bats. That was a lot. All right, that was a lot, lot, lot. All right, um, Miami Mar- Marlins at uh, uh, Baltimore Orioles here. We got weather implication here. If the, if the weather was clear, I would be taking Baltimore Orioles, okay? That's just what it is. So Baltimore Orioles are nothing for me. I like the Orioles in this spot. Not a big fan of the Miami Marlins bullpen here, all right? Arizona Diamondbacks at Toronto Blue Jays, over on the nine and a half in this spot. Uh, we got Henry on the mound, Kikuchi on the mound. Um... Kikuchi does give up the long ball. He's got a home run in every game except for three. Uh, Henry, um, not a big fan of Henry. Um, we got over on the nine and a half. I do like bats here. I do spec hits and stuff like that. So uh, probably my favorite bat here is going to be uh, on the Toronto side. It's going to be uh, Bo Bichette there. 962 OPS versus lefties. And then you got Matt Chapman, uh, he, who will take lefties deep. He's got good power versus lefties. Um, 1,000 OPS versus lefties. You can look at these guys for fantasy score, hits, runs, and RBIs, and all of that. All right? On both, on, on, on every site. On the flip side, um, um, one of my favorite bats is going to be um, um, Cattell Marte. Um, couldn't talk about his hits, runs, and RBIs sitting at one and a half, I believe. And then, um, uh, you can look at uh, uh, Christian Walker as well, who's two or five with uh, one single and one triple versus uh, Kikuchi. He's an 825 OPS right there. It's a few other bats that I didn't add, like Emmanuel Riviera, stuff like that. But you know, in 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 the in the um in the uh, and the Vladdy Juniors and stuff, I didn't add those guys, but those guys are in play with a nine and a half total there and no weather implications. Yeah. All right. Uh, Los Angeles Dodgers at New York Mets here over under eight and a half. Scherzer. Uh, Scherzer's been giving it up lately uh, to right hand pitching uh, on batters, and Miller has been getting hit, okay? New York Mets is not a team where I, uh, where I target bats at. It just is what it is. But the Dodgers, the Dodgers is a team that I do target bats. And, um, you know, Scherzer, you know, he's giving up versus right-hand batters. I think he's got 12 home runs in his last eight games, although the Ks have been there for him, so I couldn't talk you off any strikeout props for him. The Ks have been there for him. But um, I'm looking at these bats here, uh, One, uh, a few bats. Uh, I mean, what can I say? I mean, Muncy. Muncy's 413. He's got a home run versus him. He's batting 308 uh, versus him. Uh, Freddie Freeman, he's a lefty, but he's got a hefty sample size. He's only batting 224, but he's 11 for 49 with four singles, four doubles, and three home runs. So that's, you know, you can look at him. Uh, Mookie, 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 Mookie Best just need to go suck on a lemon. He's been hot. And then J.D. JD Martinez, he's 211, and those two hits were definitely home runs. So, you know, you know, what surge are we going to see today? Are we going to see the surge that's been giving up bombs? We'll see. But, you know, no, no other team, you know, ain't, you know, this, 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 this Dodgers team can hit home runs with the best of them. I couldn't talk you off none of the home run guys there. Uh, you get good numbers. You get good numbers for hit runs and RBIs. Um, I was looking at <clears throat> J.D. Martinez since I wanted to take him for a home run. You get his hit runs and RBIs. It's a straight bet. It's a straight bet. You can get a six hits runs and RBIs for minus 105. Um, 
hidden behind, you know, hidden behind, you know, you know, with 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 with, with Freddie Freeman, and you know, uh, he's gonna have Freddie Freeman, Mookie Betts, and you know, these guys hidden in front of him. You know, what I'm saying his runs and RBIs is not, you know, not out of rim rim possibilities there. The one and a half, but then that's a swing of the bat. One home run takes care of that. So, uh, and then you got all uh, these guys are in play. You know, what I'm saying, you know, so it is what it is there. Uh, who else? We got Max Muncy. His hits runs and RBI sitting at minus one twenty. Um, um, Jason Hayward's got decent numbers uh, there too. It's a uh, 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 plus one hundred there. So you know you can check out some of those numbers there. Take who you want. You know what I'm saying? Take who you want. I would straight bet them if they're a good number there. All right. Uh, Milwaukee Brewers at Cincinnati Reds. We got an over under 10 and a half in this spot here. No weather implications. Cincinnati, you know, Great American Ballpark. This is a really, really small park here. And, uh, you know, I, I target target bats here. Uh, I think this is the game that, that that's probably going to pop off here. Um, um, talk about Hauser. He gets it up to lefties there. I mean, uh, Lively, he's giving it up to lefties there. So I couldn't talk you off uh, um Yellick, I think he went yard yesterday. Um, you can look at Yellick hits, runs, and RBIs. You can look at his hits. You can look at his total bases. You can also look at his fantasy score with because he does have the ability to steal bases. All right, talk about steal bases on the flip side. We can look at Ellie Ellie Cruz. All right, it's another bat. You know, I'm, I'm uh, the rest of the bats I'm going to talk about is going to come from Cincinnati side. Ellie Dela Cruz, um, definitely looking at Ellie Dela Cruz here. Um, you know, hits all the way up to a home run, fancy score on prospects. I'm going to like that. Um, I am going to like Joey Votto. He's six for 17. And like I always say, who hasn't he hit a home run versus? So he's got three singles, two doubles and a home run versus him batting 353 versus Hauser. So definitely looking at uh, Joey Votto. Uh, Jake, you can look at the lefties, lefties versus both of these pitchers. All right? Both of these pitchers are giving it up versus lefties. Uh, Jake Fraley, one for five. That's a bomb. That one is a home run. Just look at his hits, runs, and RBIs if you want. Um, he's batting um, 844 OPS versus right hand pitching. Um, Hauser's giving up an 827 OPS versus lefties. So you know the drill right there. Um, and then, you know, uh, you got guys like Friedel. He's three for eight. Mac McClain, he's two for three. So I, I, I like it. You know, I like runs to be put up here. I definitely do. Shout out to Will Benson. Um, I've given given him out, but where I really, you know, Will Benson, he's in play too. He's in play for a home run too. To tell you the truth, uh, he'll be batting in that eight or maybe that ninth hole, something like that. He's one of those guys that they like to throw in there, and you know, uh, 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 this is a good spot for him. One thing about him, he's got splits. You know, he hits he hits he hits righties phenomenally on the road. You know what I'm saying? But you know. He's still batting 300 versus right-hand pitching in general. He's got to get mentioned, okay? Uh, so I'm going to like runs to be put up in this one here. If I had to pick a side, it would be Cincinnati Reds, but I'm probably not going to pick a side in this one here. Just doing a, doing a lot of hits, runs, and RBIs and stuff like that. A home run candidate here would have to be um, Votto. Um, Tampa Bay Rays at Kansas City Royals. Uh, Eflin on the mound, Singer on the mound. I have been waiting on Eflin's strikeout prop all night. It came out at five and a half. I went on ahead and took a stab at it. It was plus money. Let's see what it is right now. Um, Plus 104, still plus 104. Brady Singer, I um, was looking at his strikeouts where I was really, really, really tempted to go to this three and a half strikeout. Um, lately, um, I can show you guys. Lately versus right hand pitching, um, this uh, last 30 days, look at the last 30 days versus right hand pitching. And um, yeah, uh, striking out. <clears throat> Lo and behold, let me see. Tampa Bay Rays up there top 10. What about the last, what was the last 30? What about the last two weeks? Tampa Bay Rays number one last two weeks with 263 plate appearances. Uh, plate appearances, that's what? Tampa Bay Rays. Um, yeah, so 263 plate appearances. Um, they, 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 they number one, almost 30%. You know what I'm saying? And they WRC plus versus righties. Man. Last two weeks been just trash. Um, they twelfth worst right there. 
So, shit. And then you couple that with the fact that Brady Singer, he been all right at home. You know what I'm saying? He been all right at home. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> you know? So, you know, um, I'm iffy on the side here. Uh, it's weekend baseball. Um, uh, what's the line sitting at? Uh, what's the line sitting at? What's the line sitting at? Um, minus two thirty. I'm. I don't know. I don't know. I like the strikeouts though. I like the strikeouts for Eflin. I like the strikeouts for Eflin there. Maybe we could. Let's see. Maybe we could uh shake him down real quick. Mm, no, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. I might just take the I'm I'm uh I mean Let me see. I had already took the five and a half, but I didn't take it on the books. I took it on prize picks. It's at five and a half. <clears throat> I took it on prize picks, but uh Maybe I could shake something down on um on uh on on the books. He's got good case stuff though. He's got good case stuff. Uh not 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 he's got good case stuff there. Uh I think he could get there. I think he could get there. Uh he's got good case stuff. Uh let's see. So his K percentage is twenty six point one, twenty seven versus lefties, and then twenty four and a half versus right. He's got good case stuff there. Um wonder where his outs prop is sitting at. Mm. I'd have interest in this outs if it's sitting at a a decent number. Let's see. 17 and a half at a minus 160. That becomes a parlay piece for me. Two bats I was looking one two bats I was looking at, but really one, but two bats I was looking at was uh um low and Rayleigh here. <clears throat> um um Rayleigh, Rayleigh is probably gonna be my favorite bat there. All right. Um, so what's his name? Luke Rayleigh, Riley, Rayleigh, Rayleigh. So, uh, that, that, those are a few bats that you can look at that are lefties. I uh, the lefties, but one, one thing I could say is Brady Singer. He is, uh, pitching well at home. Okay. Um, Chicago wise, uh, no, um, Washington Nationals, that's the St. Louis Cardinals here. We got weather implications here, so got to temper my expectation because there's one play that I was trying to go to because uh, I know that J- Josiah Gray, uh, he pitches better on the road. His strikeouts uh, props came out at four and a half. I wanted to go there. I want to go there, so I lean towards the over four and a half if this game plays. And because uh, you don't want to be messing with these pitches with the weather, man. And then um, I was looking at the outs. Uh, on the road, he's hit this number three times on the road, okay? So three three straight times, his last three games on the road, all right? Uh, 15 and a half outs. That means he has to go to the sixth inning and get us one out, and I don't give a fuck what he do after that. Uh, so I got leans there. So if I if I feel like I'm going to pull the trigger there, and um, that was like a minus 105, if I feel like I'm going to pull the trigger there, I just, got, I, just got to, I just got to keep my eye on the weather there. It's Boston Red Sox at Chicago Cubs here. Over under nine and a half. Boston Red Sox has shown ability to hit lefties. A steal, steal is pretty, pretty good. Crawford on the other side. All right. So uh I'll tell you what I like here. Um two bats. All right. It's gonna be um Justin Turner. He hits lefties really, really well. So he, you know, you could probably put him in a hit parlay or something like that, along with uh Christopher Morrell. All right, those are two bats that I like from each side. Couldn't talk you off uh if you want to look at uh if you want to look at um um Damn, what's the kid's name? Um, Cody Ballinger, uh, Ballinger, um, for the Cubs, he's been on fire. I think he's got four home runs in his last five games, something like that, something crazy like that. But yeah, he's been on fire. Um, Cleveland Guardians at Texas Rangers here. Don't probably gonna end up skipping over this game. Um, I'm not a f- uh, for right now. Uh, I need to look a little bit further more into this one here. Um. I think Bybee hasn't been good on the road. And then Texas, I mean, Perez, he's just so iffy to me. You know, I I, I don't really mess with him like that. So I'm going to skip over this one here. And I'm going to land on this New York Yankees at Colorado Rockies here. Uh, We got Cole on the mound. We got Anderson on the mound. In course, 11 over under in this spot. And uh, it's a few things that I'll let you guys know. All right. So New York Yankees. 
You know, uh, well, let's talk about Anderson first, who's been trash. He's been ass. He's given up more runs than at, on the road than he has a, at home. All right. And this and this if you don't know about Coors Field, Coors Field, you know, they give it up at Coors Field. OK, so uh, that that ballpark just screams runs. All right. So his his runs uh, in, in lately has been uh, five, six, nine, seven, three, three, two. He's given up 12 home runs in his last eight games. OK, so that's uh, that's concerning there. Anytime, you know, that's concerning. Now, he's a righty. However, um. The, the the New York Yankees, they just they don't hit righties as good as they hit lefties. But the right hand batters and shit like that, they get a bump today because they have Anderson on the mound. All right. Um, Stanton's been on fire in this ballpark for sure. Um, you know, so I couldn't talk to off any New York Yankees bats. I get a pitching lean towards New York Yankees with Cole on the mound, so they have that. Um Colorado, when you're looking at their batting stats, I have to look at them at home. All right, no, so I have to look at uh, Colorado versus right hand pitching at home because uh, it's Coors Field. You know, you, you can't weigh some of that shit against Coors Field because, yeah, Coors Field is a different animal. All right, haven't been popping off super hard this year, but Coors Field is a different beast. Now, um, Looking at the on, on the season numbers here, the WRC plus uh for Colorado is, don't look good. All right, you know they fourth worst, fifth worst WRC plus versus right hand pitching. But when you're looking at the uh what uh uh the ISO, they round the middle of the pack. Uh, OPS, they are top five. Uh, slugging, um, this is at home now versus right hand pitching. Slugging, um, six. Um, batting average, um, second. On base percentage, third. All these numbers are season numbers, though. Okay, season numbers at home. All right, that's how I look at it when I'm looking at at Coors Field. All right, so you know, if you think they can get him some trouble, then that's on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just just delivering the message. I'm delivering a blow. All right, I'm delivering a blow. All right, uh, I, I don't take sides in Coors Field here. Uh, I'll look. I'll snatch me a few bats and get out of there. Okay, but I had to drop some of those facts on you guys. Minnesota Twins at um, Oakland Athletics over under eight in this spot, and we got Ryan on the mound, Sears on the mound. Uh, this is no one's first inning candidate here for me. Um, strikeout candidates as well. Uh, Minnesota Twins is one of the highest rate striking out team. Strikeout at one of the highest rates in the league. However, um, they're doing better versus lefties in the strikeout category. Um, CS is strikeout prop sitting at six and five and a half. If you want to get there, be my guest. Uh, Ryan, you know, Joe Ryan has really, really good strikeout stuff. Uh, watching out for the uh, lineups are really, really important because yesterday, uh, versus Lopez, uh, they ran out seven lefties. When they do that, when Oakland Athletics run out all those lefties like that, they looking to come fuck some shit up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so they end up putting up seven runs versus Lopez. And, uh, you know, you know, Lopez, his K rate is higher versus righties than it is versus lefties. Uh, let's take a look and see what uh, the K rates uh, for Joe Ryan, which is he's got a little bit more stiffer K rate with uh, 28.7 overall, uh, 25.2 versus lefty. 32 versus righties. So he's got a decent K rate there. So I couldn't talk about his K prop, which I think is going to be sitting at six and a half. So uh, there you have that. Um, this this offense, Minnesota Twins offense, I don't like it. They can go anemic. It's hard for me to predict it, you know, whatever the case may be. And oops, it's sitting at five and a half. Joe Ryan's strikeout sitting at five and a half. Even if you want to alter it down and stuff like that, 6K, something like that, uh, baby... Maybe, 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 maybe four or five Ks for Sears. You know what I'm saying? Or you could probably go down to four Ks for Sears. And then you could, like I said, it's a no one first inning candidate here. You could probably go uh, no one's first inning. You can go tie or you can go under one and a half runs, something like that. And then you could get uh, a decent play right there if you wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. You know, some scary ass bankroll builder shit like that. Uh, however, I, my no runs first innings have been getting smashed. Okay, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but like I said, um, this game has an underfeel to it. Uh, I, I don't know how I want to attack it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how I want to attack it. I want to see these lineups. If they rolling out seven lefties again, 
Um, I might temper my expectations and, you know, I don't know. We'll see. But that, that bankroll bill that I just put up there, something that I would consider, consider playing. And, uh, 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 teasing down uh, Ryan K's on the books is something that you could probably do, you know, in the, in your same game parlays, stuff like that. All right. Um, Detroit Tigers at Seattle Mariners. This game has an underfield to it as well. Reese Olsen and Miller. What is it? Bryce Miller on the mound. Um, not my favorite game. I'm going to just go right on over that. And uh, one of my favorite games, we got over under nine here. Javier and Anderson is on the mound here. Javier hasn't been good. Um, he's been giving it up to lefties. And so we're going to look at, um, Moniac and we're going to look at, um, uh, none other than Otani. Uh, those are my two favorite bats, um, versus, um, uh, on the, on the, um, on, on the, uh, Los Angeles side. Uh, you can look at Mustakis too, if you want, if he's in the lineup, Javier's giving it up to lefties. Okay. Moniac. Um, I mean, um, well, Moniac has been on fire. Um, love what he's doing, Mickey Moniak. Um, uh, uh, um, this guy, uh, Otani's just got some hell of a history, you know, versus him. You know, he's a six for 19, batting 360, uh, two singles, two triples, and two home runs there. So, you know, he's self explanatory. You ain't got, you know, and then you got uh, Anderson. We, uh, he, he's a lefty. So, Kyle Tucker, anytime we get Kyle Tucker. Up against a left lefty, a lefty lefty matchup. He's in play. In fact, the numbers for him, um, he's three of four versus him. Um, let me see, he's three of four versus. Uh, did I even put him in there? I didn't even. Oh yes, I did. He's three of four versus um Anderson with a uh, two a double a double one double and two triples. So he's got extra uh, nothing but extra base. Uh. Uh, uh, home runs versus him. So his, I mean, not home hits. I'm sorry, hit extra base hits versus him. And then the righties get a bump because, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, Tyler Anson is giving up versus righties. Um, somebody like Alex Bradman, he's three of six. He he's got two home runs. He he's got nothing but extra base hits for him. He's two. He's three of six with a uh, uh, a double and uh, two home runs. So those are Kyle Tucker and, and Bregman. You know those guys. You know they're they're definitely in play. Um, I would probably take Kyle Tucker over him, but the history wise, Bregman probably likes to see him coming. Uh, Dubon, uh, you know guys like that. So uh, I expect runs to be put up in this one here. I couldn't talk you off the over here. With that being said, guys, uh, that's it. Let's 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 see. Uh, total bases. Um, Hitter fantasy score. It's still slow to bring out some of these, some of these plays here. Um, I like hitter fantasy score for uh, uh, Robert. Um, couldn't talk you off the seven and a half for Olsen. You got a righty. Um, definitely a Kuna. Um, still waiting on, still waiting, still waiting on um, still waiting on um uh, Soto, um, Bochet, um. Dela Cruz, Ellie Dela Cruz, Christian Yellick. Um, a lot of bats that I like today. Um, couldn't talk you off of. Goldsmith is always in play. You know what I'm saying? He's just slumping right now, some shit. Uh, Justin Turner has hit lefties well. Seven and a half is in play for him. Um, Stanton's just been on fire. Um, Otani and uh, Otani and uh, Kyle Tucker, yes. You catch Moniac up there, yes please what about total bases what do they have out for total bases um let's see um robert olsen kona anderson bobachet catel Marte, yelic of course mookie ellie de la cruz of course Hmm. Dubon. Shoei Otani. Maldonado can hit lefties as well. No, 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 no. I have to go back and run a check. I have to go back and run a check on that. I'm sorry. Go back and run a check on that. All right. So that, 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 that just about sums it up, guys. Uh, peace out. Peace.